Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Lorraine Lamb, and today I have a book review on Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. And if I'm looking down or over, I'm looking at my notebook. This will be a spoiler for your review. And if you're new to my videos or just need a refresher, I have my books in five different categories plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of regen very soon. Five out of five, not so soon, one out of five. So I went into this book um, pretty blind. Um, I saw a few people talk about it on BookTube. I watched a few reviews, but they didn't really give that much away, which was really good because this is a mystery book. Um, but I hadn't, I wanted to pick this up for a while, but then I saw the TV show was coming out even sooner. So I thought I might as well pick it up. I think I picked it up when the first episode was premiering that week. Um, I don't have HBO though, so I'm going to have to wait until it comes on DVD or, yeah, probably DVD. Um, so I'm going to have to wait a while to watch it anyway, so it wasn't like a big rush for me. But anyway, this book, I'm just going to give you like a few key words I knew about going into this book instead of reading the synopsis because I didn't read the synopsis before I read the book. So I knew this was a mystery. It dealt with mothers in a schoolyard. There was a murder. Um, and that's basically all I knew going into it. And I knew it was very drama filled and very catty and that kind of thing. Like a very good drama of a mystery. Um, that's basically the gist of what I knew about it. And I think like if you know those things going into it, it's pretty good. Um, so I went to the wrong page in my notebook because I was filling out filming a review back to back and I went to the wrong page. Um, so for plot, I gave a four to five. The reason I gave four to five was it took me about 60 to 80 pages to get into this book. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, I don't, like, I do rate books, har like, harsher. But I'm not a very harsh reviewer because I can get into a story, like, right away. I I feel really lucky that I can do that because I know some people it takes them a while. But for me, like, I can get in right away and really enjoy the novel. And the pacing for this one, which I know is not plot, but the plot just, like, I feel like it was so slow the first like 60 to 80 pages and after that it sped up really fast it was really good so I was about to maybe DNF this um that's like do not finish that's how serious it was I wasn't really enjoying it but I decided to keep pushing through and I'm very happy I did do that because it was really good um, I actually lent this to um my mom after I read this and she really enjoyed it too but she said the same thing like it was very hard to get into the first um 60 to 80 pages so it takes her longer to get into books than takes me um, but basically I really liked how the plot progressed, um, and the later half of the book. Um, there was a few slow parts, which I did dock it for, and there were some things that I maybe wanted to see be fleshed out a bit more, but besides that, I think it was really good. It was a solid book. This is my first Leanne Moriarty book, and I definitely want to read more of hers in the future. Um, characters I gave a 4.5 to 5. Now these characters I didn't super connect with, but I did really like them. In the sense that they were all dealing with different issues, and I felt like the issues were dealt with pretty good, like especially the character Celeste in the novel. I feel like as I'm reading more and more portrayals of that, I'm like, I'm not going to give it away. But of that, like I've been reading, not lately, but like I've been slowly reading more and more books of portrayals of um, this specific situation, and I have to say that I feel like it was handled pretty good. Like could have been fleshed out a bit more and it was like that kind of thing maybe but I also really liked Madeline's character I really liked Jane's character Jane was the only character where I was kind of like not my favorite at first because she has a very mysterious like um past kind of she brings into the novel and we don't hear about it for a while so it took me a bit longer to connect with her character but I think that was good that they held back on that because it definitely led to more like hemming and hawing and what's gonna happen um, cover I give a 4 to 5. I really like this one. This is the TV show cover. I forget what the, I think the regular cover has a lollipop that's like shattered on it. What's this? I really like the pink with the gray. And I really like how it's like, even though it's a TV cover, it's not like, wow, like, you know some TV covers can be like really flashy and all about the celebrities. I just really like how like it's just like their face is like at the bottom, like it's not too flashy, it's very calm and, you know, it's not all like, bam, like, images from the TV show, or, like, a poster of them all standing there. Like, it's just, like, I feel it's a very subdued, nice cover. Um, so, yeah, I give it a 4 to 5, because it's not, like, a favorite cover, but I think it's a nice cover, especially for a TV show um, cover. So, Suspense, I give a 4 to 5. Now, once again, there was some slow parts, but for the most part, the last half of the book really sped up, and I was really enjoying it. Um, and overall, I give the book a 5 to 5 for rereadability. I definitely reread this book in the future, because... There's so many little twists and turns and interesting little tidbits you can go back to. I find mysteries sometimes a bit harder to go back to, but when they're a really well written one and you can go back and like look at other details and see like how didn't I see this maybe. Um, this one's not as much as a how didn't I didn't see this, but there's a few parts that like that and I just think it'd be a very good one to reread because not only does, is it a mystery, but also there's other aspects that make it like 
you know sometimes you're rereading a mystery and it's like you know what happens in the end and you know all the clues and stuff but this one has more than that going around it so make it easier for me to reread I don't know where I'm going my hands like tabletop um, but anyway, this has been my book review on Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. If you've read this, definitely let's discuss in the comments. As usual, please remember to write spoilers and space down if you're going to spoil anything. So the ones of us that have not read it, well, not including me, <laughs> it sounds like it was all of us, um, but the people that have not read it so they do not get spoiled. Um, and yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.